That air show disaster that played out as thousands of families were on the ground watching it in Dayton, Ohio. One of the most eagerly awaited moments going terribly wrong. And just look at the images tonight. A wing walker on top of a small plane high in the sky, then the plane suddenly turning upside down, then plummeting the wing, touching the ground just moments before the plane then crashes. And there is video tonight as well, showing another view of that plane crossing the sky, going out of sight there, and then suddenly crashing into that fireball. ABC's Rena Nyman leading us off tonight. These were the final moments for wing walker Jane Wicker and her pilot. Screams heard throughout the Dayton air show, her plane plummeting to the ground into a giant ball of fire. Witnesses say she was performing one of her famous stunts, sitting on the wing of the plane as it turned upside down. In this video, she describes the incredible acrobatic she performs. And we're going about 140 to 150 miles an hour, and the wind is really intense. So I have to brace myself and, and, and keep everything tight until we get and we get up upside down. Wicker had only returned to the skies last week after recovering from a previous injury not related to wing walking, tweeting this about today's show. In Dayton, ready to rock this town. Had a great drive, must get to bed if I want to be fresh for those 6.40 a.m. and 7.10 a.m. interviews. In 2007, veteran stunt pilot Jim Leroy was killed when his stunt plane crashed and burned in the 2007 Dayton Air Show. Wing walking may look effortless, but the moves are hardly simple or without risk. Still, drawing large crowds to watch the high altitude acrobatics defying gravity, but it often comes with little training. Well, back in 1990, I answered an ad in the newspaper that said wing walker wanted no experience necessary. <laughs> so it was on the job. It was on the job training. <laughs> She said it was answering that ad for wing walking for one of the small planes similar to the ones you see behind me here in Virginia that her passion began, realizing the skies were her true home. NTSB officials say they will be investigating today's deadly crash. Meanwhile, in Dayton, officials say the show will go on.